And Jesus even allowed his betrayers to sit at the same table with him. Uh, here we are as Christians. We only invite folk who treat us right. And we just want to invite people that can invite us back. But Jesus, amen, reminded us in the 23rd Psalm that thou prepares a table before me, spam down in the midst of my. Y'all already talking here. Amen. Can somebody say glory? The woman uh, that had been with him through his earthly ministry, her, her husband now had died, and uh, the other Eman, four sons and uh, three daughters didn't understand really at this time who Jesus was. Mm -hmm. Jesus, Eman, was a loud voice, Eman, on calorie, agonizing in his body of humanity, says, uh, My God, my God. You know, I don't care how holy you are. Sometimes flesh will make you feel like you're all by yourself. Amen. These words, Jesus, uh, amen, tells us that whatsoever, amen, that we're going through, God is aware of what we're going through. You got to understand that sometimes you're going to feel like you're forsaken. But you got to understand that the Lord is walking along the Glory. I heard Dr. Harris say, Amen. Jesus said that I am thirsty, and unlike Jesus, Jesus was thirsty for righteousness. Yeah, but I found myself over the course of time being thirsty for things that I had no business being thirsty for. Do I have any others around here?
Yeah. <laughs>